Uvalde Radio, streaming worldwide at uvalderadio.net, or download the Live 365 app and search Uvalde Radio to listen on the go. Fantastic. Radio.net. It is Robert Miguel here, and I've got with me on the phone the young, handsome, and super talented Mr. William Beckman. What's going on, Robert? How you doing? Man, dude, it is so cool to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, man, it's been a while. How you been? I- I've been good. Now, now, the last time we spoke, I was still at the local FM station. I've got my own thing going on here, UvaldiRadio.net, and you've been super busy doing your thing too. So, yeah, it's 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 good to catch up, man. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so the last time I think we spoke, you were in town getting ready for uh, doing an opening gig. Was it Frank Ray or Robert Ray or who did you open for? Was it? It was uh, Frank Ray. Okay. Frank Ray, I opened up, but you know, I, if I remember correctly, the last time we actually spoke was in Arlington at the uh, what was it, the New Faces show? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. We were we were there, and we got to catch up and chat for a minute, but. Um, yeah, the Texas and Regional you know, Radio Awards. Yeah, that too, if, uh, if I remember correctly. So we all got to hang out. Yeah, no, it was a good time, man. So uh, yeah, we were. I was just talking to Radney Foster, who you're performing with uh, this weekend. Um, and right. Radney was. He said that you know you guys go back. You're from the same hometown. Uh, you guys gig together. You know you're good friends. Um, and he's invested in your career, so he's definitely uh, mentoring you and t- you know kind of watching over. But um, yeah. he said that his phone just blew up crazy when you won that competition, man. So that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, that's what he, he, <laughs> he told me. Uh, but um, yeah, no, Radney, he's he's like an uncle to me. He's been a mentor and a teacher, and he, he's been he took me under his wing when I was about sixteen years old. And at the time, you know, I was still in high school, and I didn't really. Uh, have have uh, saw 
songs that I'd written, and, and you know, he kind of asked me, well, what is it that you want to do with, with your life or with your career? And I told him, I said, I want to do what you do. <laughs> He's like, we're going to have to get busy writing songs. And uh, so it, my homework was to go and write a hundred songs. I'm not making this up. You wow. need to write a hundred songs. And he said, if you write a hundred of them, by the time I come back to town, you know, next year, then then I'll take you serious. And, and uh and uh, you know, I'll help you out. And so I did. I wrote a hundred songs. And about a year later, he came back. I think he was doing a show or something. And he came back to Del Rio, and we reconnected. And he said, uh, you know, he asked me, did you write a hundred songs? And I said, I did. And uh, he said, are, are any of them good? And I said, no, <laughs> none of them were good. He said, well, that was the point of the exercise. You know, you have to get all those bad ones out to, to get to the good ones. So. Yeah, he's been he's been uh, a, a very crucial part of, of my songwriting uh, career, and he continues to, to, to give me advice and, and mentor me, and uh, I think he, he, he will for the rest of my life. I'll, I'll always look up to him and, and respect uh, you know his him for his wisdom. For Man, sure. it sounds like some tough love, some like Yoda and Luke Skywalker or Mister Miyagi yeah, and Karate okay. Kid stuff. He's definitely the Yoda. If we're all Jedi. <laughs> he would definitely be Yoda and. Uh, He's jumping up on your back while you're doing... Andy Rogers is, 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 you know, stepping in and helping me with my career and, and, and everything. And so uh, it's, it's great to be surrounded by people that I've not only, uh, you know, respected their work and, and looked up to them as songwriters, but now we're all buddies and they call mm-hmm. me and they, you know, it, it's just really surreal. So uh, I feel very blessed and fortunate to uh, be in the, in the position that I'm currently at. Well, well, as far as being tutored by by uh, Radney Foster, you, you draw the line when he starts saying "wax on, wax off" and making you do his car. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. You, you mentioned you mentioned uh, uh, Randy Rogers. You've been busy doing a few shows um, with that uh, "Hold My Beer" tour, right? Yeah. So him and Wade Bowen do these acoustic shows called "Hold My Beer and Watch This" yeah. uh, tour, and so I've been opening up. Uh, some of those shows for them. We got some other shows coming up where I'll be opening up for the for the Randy Rogers band. Uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, and, and Randy's been uh, really important uh, with with all of that stuff. And um, he has a management company called Big Blind, which which I'm now under. And so uh, Robin Sheff is my manager, and she's absolutely amazing. And she's been helping me, you know, just uh, kind of. Get, get to the next point, you know, in my career, and, and, and uh, we're getting a band together. That's something that uh, that I've never really had because I've always sort of been an acoustic act, mm-hmm. and so now I've gotten a, a band together, and, and we're kind of working out all the kinks. But I'm really excited, man. I'm really excited for the for the for the rest of this year. But uh, you know, next year is going to be a uh, really awesome, man. I've got a band coming, so the show's going to get bigger and louder. It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, getting back to the Randy and Wade thing, I talked to to Wade Bowen recently, and he was doing a show here in, in Con Can, and he just had nothing but great things to say about you, man. So you are you are definitely you know shaking up the scene, you know, making waves, uh, doing great things. And again, getting back to your band, I, I did see you were kind of on your social media as you were kind of like, hey, I'm going to put a band together, but I didn't realize you'd already kind of picked the guy. So what was that? What's that process like? Uh, get, getting a group of guys together in as kind of a as short a, I mean, it sounds like you got it pretty quick. Yeah, um, so I kind of had a bunch of guys come in and, and just really on, just jamming with them and kind mm-hmm. of feeling, uh, feeling the vibe. But uh, for, for anybody that knows me and my music, you know, I do kind of have, on a lot of my songs, more of a traditional sound. Yeah. You know, it was just a matter of kind of finding people that, uh, that don't, don't really overplay, that just kind of complement what I'm trying to do. I mean, the kind of country songs that I play are, are really simple and... and uh, it requires a band that's able to support the song uh, for what it is lyrically um, and, and musically. And, and so, but of course, I do have a few other songs like uh, my last single, I Want to See You Tonight, which is a little bit more upbeat and kind of something, something that might require a little bit more, uh, uh, I guess, strength or, mm-hmm. or playing a little bit harder. So it's just finding the right people that can kind of teeter between the, the, the two things that I'm trying to go for. Like, I need somebody that can get really intimate and really kind of quiet and then somebody can kind of move forward uh, in, in the in I guess the overall volume of, of the band when when it's necessary. So it's just finding people that you're that you're cool with that you like the way they, they play their style and uh, also have the same idea of, of what I want to do and what vision 
passion I have for, for the songs that I'm playing. Well, man, I mean, for your age, man, and you're a young guy, you know, you've got, you, you definitely are a pro. Uh, you have a vision that's clear cut and it's very interesting. Now, tell me this, as far as your band goes, do you, do you have like, this vision of wanting to keep a core group of guys together, you know, for the long term. Are you are you content with just kind of using, you know, um, I guess musicians for a season? I mean, I mean, you've you've done some work in Nashville, so I'm, I'm sure you respect the whole uh, the concept of hired guns. Um, do you have a preference as to whether well, you want? Yeah, well, uh, I definitely want to find a group of guys that I can keep for the long term. Mm-hmm. Uh, just because it, you, you, know, you know, you want your fan, your or you want your band to be somewhat of a family, you know. And, yeah. and, uh, but you know, yeah, having lived in Nashville for three, you know, and a half years, it, it you do get used to people just kind of coming through, or you know, hey, I need a guitar player or whatever, and somebody steps in, and those guys, those guys are, it's incredible how they can just listen to a to a song and then know it. Yeah. Right after that, I mean, it's really really cool how. Uh, the, the level of musicianship in, in Nashville. No, I definitely want to keep my my group of guys, you know, uh, all together. I just want to be as emotionally invested in, in my songs and what I'm doing, you know, as much as I am. So it's definitely something that I'm, I'm trying to find a group of guys for the long term. Well, that's exciting. That's exciting to hear, man. And I look forward to meeting the guys eventually one day. So, uh, again, we're talking to we're talking to William Beckman here. Let's get to the show now. It's this Friday evening, the Uvalde Grand Opera House, the second oldest functioning opera house in the state of Texas. And of course, Radney Foster will headline. You will be warming up and probably getting on stage with Radney at some point in time. Um, you, you know, you, we talked about the show you did with Frank Ray. Uh, I guess it was earlier this year. Uh, you, you know, you're from you, Del Rio's kind of your stomping grounds. Uh, first time to play the opera house what are your thoughts on that well i'm really excited and it's, i've never been there it seems like a beautiful venue and i i love uh theaters and so i'm, I'm really looking forward to uh to getting the opportunity to play there and i love uvalde uvalde is <laughs> right down the road from my hometown so i feel right at home every time i'm there so what, what do you whenever you come through uvalde do you ever stop in and do you, you grab a bite at any of our restaurants or, or oh, hit any of spots or what, what what's yeah. what's william beckman do in uvalde yeah, what is the, uh, there's a place and they have, I forget the name of it, but, but it's this place and they have gorditas and uh, the name's going to come to me. Oh, is it Live Oak? I don't know. It, is it, it right behind the church's fried chicken? Yes, that's it. <laughs> my favorite place of all time. Yes. Every time I pass through. But it's one of those places that they close fairly early because yeah. it's so popular. Mm-hmm. They're only open from like noon to like four or something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You have to catch that window. But I'm telling you, that is the best place <laughs> to get gorditas in the entire state. I'm telling you that 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 is my that is my favorite place. And they all know me when I walk in too. i have like they've got my CD on the wall and stuff. It's really <laughs> cool. Well, that's very, very cool. Well, hey, man, you brought up the record. Let's talk about that because, you know, the record's still relatively new. Uh, the, it's called Outskirts of Town. And uh, let's just talk about the recording process of the record for those for those who are new fans who haven't heard too much about you. Yeah, uh, so it's a seven-song EP that we recorded in Nashville. And uh, Radney Foster's actually on one of the songs, the last song. It's called Leave in Town. Uh, he produced that song and sang harmonies on it. But, yeah, it's a really interesting group of songs uh, the first song was, uh, was the single that I had, I Want to See You Tonight, and that that's kind of like a 90s country kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But I, I'm really kind of uh, glad the way it came out, because that's what I was trying to go for with, with that particular track. Uh, but yeah, it's it's a, it's just a really cool group of songs that I, I never get tired of playing, and... Uh, and yeah, they, they can check it out on iTunes and Spotify and all that, all that good stuff. So where those awesome seven songs came from, there's like 93 that suck, right? <laughs> hey, pretty, pretty much, yeah. That's that's how it goes. You have to keep on, you have to keep on weeding out the bad ones to get to the good ones. No. You know, I, I've seen you do more than seven originals, so I know you got way more uh, than, than that uh, than that offering. But uh, what what are the plans? You said you got the band, so the new record, any kind of ETA as far oh, as yeah, yeah, we're working on getting uh, getting back into the studio, and, and I'm really kind of over the moon because Radney's talking about well, you know, you and I need to sit down and try to write some songs together, and and Randy Rogers has said the same thing, so 
Uh, I'm really stoked about that. There's a good chance that we might have some Bradney Foster and uh, Randy Rogers co-writes, and maybe even Wade Bowen. You know, if we if, if he's got some time off, we can sit down and try to write. So, like I said earlier, it's just really kind of awesome to have uh, you know these these guys that I've looked up to and, and, and admired for so long now want to collaborate with me. Yeah, it's really really kind of. Uh, surreal so and, and what a way to bring attention to you know you a kind of an up-and-coming artist uh to be already on tour sharing the stage you know what i mean uh collaborating songwriting wise with those caliber of artists and then of course and, and those types of art that they're it's so cool that that uh that randy and radney it's hard to say <laughs> are uh <laughs> Are the types of artists that do like to collaborate? They like to kind of, you know, share the share the love. And uh, man, it, it's cool. You're certainly a blessed uh, young musician, man. So it, it's exciting. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, so any, anything else we need to touch on? I mean, uh, I mean, I want to play another track off the record. Do you want to do that? Uh, leaving Leaving Town, or do you want to do something else? Yeah, hey, have you picked out a new single or what? Town. Going to do Leaving Town. Yeah, for sure. Well, right on. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll wrap this up. Everybody go see William Beckman again this Friday evening, I believe 7 p.m., Uvalde Grand Opera House opening up for Radney Foster. It's going to be a fantastic show. Uh, Radney's going to do kind of a kind of a scaled back, you know, intimate solo acoustic type thing. William Beckman, that's what you do. And I, I guess let's go and tease that. At some point, I'm sure you guys will get on it and maybe share the stage, right? I hope so, probably. Well, do that. <laughs> Radney pretty pretty much said you guys would, so we're, we're going to look forward to that as well, too. And tickets are on sale at UvaldeOperaHouse.org. And uh, give us a quick little, um, you know, rundown on what this Leave in Town song is about or the inspiration. Uh, this song is about having to give up uh, a relationship in order to hit the road and, and become a musician and tour. And it's uh, a really kind of sad song, but it's uh, hopefully inspiring to people that want to do what I do and do what Radney Foster does and you got to go out there and chase dreams well right on again we've been talking to William Beckman go see him at the Opera House Friday night the new record is called Outskirts of Town this one's called Leaving Town and it's on UvaldeRadio.net thanks William man alright thanks good talking to you buddy I know this ain't what you wanna hear but I'm afraid I just can't stick around Can't stand the atmosphere in this town. It brings me down. So I'm gonna fill the truck with gasoline. Now that I've loaded up my stuff. It's time for me to chase a couple dreams Before they rust And turn into red dust The highway can be dangerous I know but It can be just It's deadly to set down I'll let you know if my mind changes But for now I'm leaving town Last couple nights I've stayed up drinking I guess I've been depressed Cause I'm sure you must be thinking That I'm selfish Leaving you alone like this This here guitar that I carry with me She's the one you need to blame She gets jealous when you kiss me That's why I can't stay She's making me go away I'll let 
you know if my mind changes, baby But for now I'm leaving town Lack of commitment can be dangerous But they say that it can be just as deadly to take a vow I'll let you know if my heart changes, baby But for now I'm leaving town I know this ain't what you want to hear But I'm afraid I just can't stick around 